Key Clubbers, welcome to the 69th Annual Key Club International Convention here in Orlando, Florida. My name is Morgan. And my name is Cole, and we'll be hosting this year's Key Club Television every night during the convention. After curfew every night, we'll be highlighting some of the great moments of the convention by showing off clips from the previous days, interviewing convention attendees, and giving you more information on the upcoming days. For the next few days, we hope you will have a fantastic time attending all of the different workshops, dances, sessions, and other activities that we have planned for you. Sounds like we're going to be having a busy week, but between all the activities here that Key Club has planned for us and everything there is to do in Orlando, I'm sure there will not be a dull moment. I know. I think we should talk to our Key Clubs about what all there is to do here in Orlando. Where's Austin? We're supposed to be in for lunch an hour ago. I know, right? He is so hard to find around here. This place is massive. Hey guys, check this out. They have the coolest McDonald's around here. Every McDonald's has a different theme. From 1950 pop culture to sea life, there's something here for everybody. Wait, wait for us. That's all right. That's one McDonald's down and 23 more to go in Orlando. All right, let's go. I'm starving. No, no, Cole, I promise we'll go swimming tonight. Okay, I'll see you by the pool then. All right, bye. Hey, Carson, what are you up to? Been trying to get a hold of you all day. The real question is, what have you been doing? Well, I was out in the city. I mean, there's so much to do here. I went to a couple of museums, and then I spent the rest of the day practicing my favorite dance move for the lemonade dance. I hope you practice something other than the sprinkler. Well, I mean, it is my favorite go-to move. Hey, Key Clubbers. There are so many attractions, places to eat, and fun things to do in Orlando. But don't forget to attend the Key Club events. There are lots of things to do this week, inside and outside the hotel. Electing our new leaders, learning about all the different ways to serve, and attending the general sessions are just some of the highlights of this convention. We hope to see you at all the Key Club events and also around Orlando. Are you excited for international convention? I am so excited. This is my first international convention and I just, I'm so excited for what the new things that's coming for the international trustees, for everybody, the caucuses. I'm really enjoying this. How long did it take you to get here? 
Um, well, we started about 8 o'clock in the morning and we got here about 8 at night. <laughs> so it took like the whole entire day. Plus, we, we had different stops, so it took a long time. Was driving a great way to bond with the people on your tour? Um, it was. Everybody that's on, pr pretty much everybody that's on our bus are in the district, Georgia district. So we already knew a lot of people, so we just had fun all along the way. So was, everybody that came on the bus that was not on the bus already, we were so happy to see them. Have you guys been to International Convention before? Yeah, I came last year in Phoenix and it was a lot of fun, so I wanted to come back. What are you most excited about for convention this year? Um, all the new people you get to meet. You guys plan on going to workshops? Yeah, a lot of them. Do you know which one you want to go to yet? Not yet. Okay, um, are you guys excited about convention? Ooh, yes! What event are you most excited about during convention? Actually, this is my first time, so I'm just like excited about everything. Like, I don't have a certain thing, it's just I'm excited about everything. Are you ready to meet people from all over the world? Sure, yeah. From I've met people from Jamaica and Uruguay and um, the Caribbean. I don't know, it's really cool though. about for convention this year? Um, actually I'm excited about the caucus and like seeing like all the um, candidates running for international trustee. Have you looked through the candidates booklet already? Yes I have. So you're really excited to hear them talk? I am. I saw like all their, their, their credentials and things like that and I think it's like really really good. I like that a lot. That's good. Are you also a delegate? Um, yes I am. Are you excited for House of Delegates? I am. It's gonna be long but I'm excited. How has service impacted your life? Well, it kind of changed my life since I joined Key Club and do service. Norm it's things that I didn't normally do, so it was a whole new experience for me and I enjoy it. Well, what are you most excited about for ICON this year? Um, I'm most excited for the workshops and um, the dance mainly. Which dance? The neon dance? Um, I'm looking forward to the lemonade dance tonight. Yeah, do you have an awesome outfit picked out? Are you going all out? Uh, kinda. I'm gonna go in there in like a blue uh, dress shirt, a tie, and white pants. Are you excited? I am super excited. Like, this is awesome. I love this place. Do you have any plans on what workshops you'd like to attend this year? Um, I'd like to uh, um, go to like the Nickelodeon one, definitely Project Eliminate, because that's our project for Michigan as, um, as a district. Um, and those are the two I'm really looking forward to. Have your, has your district, how much money has your district raised for Project Eliminate, or do you know? Um, I'm not sure on the exact number, but I know we've raised a ton of money because that was our project for last year too. So I guess we're just going to continue building on it. What are you most excited about for ICON this year? I'm so excited and overwhelmed about meeting all the like new people from different states and stuff. And I'm also really excited about learning new leadership and like how uh, um, I guess so I can incorporate it in later in life. Cool. Do you have a specific workshop you'd like to attend this year? I actually, I want to attend all of them. 
<laughs> I really don't have a preference because I'm so excited for everything. That's awesome. How long did it take you guys to get here? Um, it took us, I'm, it, we had more than one stop, so for each person it varied. So for me it actually took about six or eight hours. What are you most excited about um, for International Convention this year? Probably the Eliminate Dinner. I'm really excited to see what's going down there and see all the different, uh, perform not performances, but the program and all that, so I'm excited for that. Have you raised money for Project Eliminate before? Our district has, yeah. Do you know how much money you've raised? Uh, when I ended my term as governor, seventy-four thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. You saved a lot of babies. Um, you raised a lot of a lot of money, so it's good. It's good saving babies. And now, a word from our sponsor. This is a key. It's a family tree. It's a pair of wings. It's a secret handshake. And a ticket to anywhere in the world. It's more than a uniform. It's the door to a world most people only dream of. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong. Try it on at GoArmy.com. And we're back. Today, we have two very special guests with us. Hi, guys. I'm Kat Levins. And I'm Austin Wu. Today, Austin and Kat are going to talk about their disagreements regarding the Key Club Code of Conduct. Let's take a deeper look. Well, first of all, I would just like to start off by saying that my outfit is fabulous. Um, Austin, how do you feel about that? I think that you look completely ridiculous. I mean, this is totally inappropriate. Take that back! No, you're supposed to be wearing business professional. Well, I wanted to dress in casual. Just so everyone understands, what Austin is wearing is a perfect example of business professional. Kat, on the other hand, is a little more casual. And what I'm wearing would be considered business casual. For more information regarding the Key Club dress code, please refer to your icon program. You know what else, Kat? You're always so loud. That is so not true! See what I mean? <sighs> Just a reminder, Kat. There are other guests in the hotel, so be sure to be respective of others and use your indoor voice when in hotel hallways. Oh, and that reminds me. Viewers, in about 20 minutes, there's going to be a party in my hotel room. See you there. Um, Kat, that's not one of the topics we're supposed to be discussing because you can't go off script. But, Samya, it's my room, and it's my party. Why wasn't I invited? Uh, we're going to have to pull the plug on that one, guys. Curfew is midnight, so everyone should be in their hotel rooms right now getting ready for bed because you all need plenty of sleep to enjoy all the convention activities to come. Then what am I supposed to do with all the drinks I bought? Um, Austin, how do you feel about that? You bought drinks? You know that alcohol and other illegal substances are banned at convention, oh. right? Didn't you read the code of conduct at all? <sighs> it's okay, Austin. No need to get upset. But really, Kat, I'm going to have to confiscate those from your dressing room. Yeah, um, we have a situation in dressing room B. Could someone please take care of that? Thanks. You know what else upsets me? Your dance moves. You need to tone it down and keep it classy. Wait, do you guys want to see no, them? No, just calm down. All, all key lovers need to dance respectively because the admins will be watching. <sighs> well, you know what? I'm getting really tired anyway, and I think I'm just going to nap through the session tomorrow. Actually, Kat, Key clubbers are expected to attend all sessions at International Convention, so you can't really sleep through any. Okay, way to be a killjoy. But you know what? You are not raining on my parade. I am so watching The Lion King with Cole and Jared tonight. Okay, boys aren't allowed in girls' rooms, and girls aren't allowed in boys' rooms. Cole and Jared aren't even allowed in your room. <laughs> Very true. Because girls are pink and boys are blue. Don't make purple. And, I mean, we're here to serve the children of the world, not produce them. Okay, but now I'm really, really sad. I really wanted to watch The Lion King. I'll watch it with you. I don't want to watch it with okay, you. Okay, let's just settle down. Okay, well, just a reminder, guys. 
All hotel rules are still in effect in addition to the Key Club Code of Conduct. And we are actually out of time. So remember, keep it classy, Key Clubbers. Hey there, Key Clubbers, and welcome to another exciting segment on Key TV. My name's Jared, and today I'm going to be your host for Key Club Trivia. Here's my lovely assistant, Rashan. Get out of here, Rashan. Right, and he's going to be showing you the questions today. And we're going to match wits with some of the smartest Key Clubbers around. So let's see what they know. Hi there. Could you state your name and district? I am Austin Wells from the Lamas 10 District. You think you could answer some questions for us? I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so let's start off with question number one. What year was Key Club founded? I believe that was 1924. <laughs> Ooh, close, Austin, 1925. That was nice. Okay, let's see if you can make it up on the second question. What are the three organizations that Key Club prefers? That is UNICEF, Children's Miracle Network, and March of Dimes. Oh, nice! Hey, pulling it through. I like it. I like it, Austin. Okay, third and final question. Okay, in what city is Key Club headquarters located? Tennessee. Wait, wait, wait. Dang it. Tennessee's not a city. Um, I can give you the address, but I can't give you the city. Let's hear the address then. I could have given you the address last year. I lied. It's 12, 1225 something something. Indianapolis. Hey, nice. I like it. Okay, congratulations. All by himself. Thank you, Austin. Thanks for playing. You had fun? I did. All right. I'm glad. We would like to welcome back Paco the Penguin to this year's convention. Paco is back to help spread the Key Club spirit during this week. And we hope that you get to participate in this game this week. There are only three simple rules. The first rule is find Paco the Penguin and take a picture with him on your phone or camera. Second, upload this picture to Key Club International's Facebook page and share your service project idea. Next, give Paco to another Key Clubber or group of Key Clubbers that you don't know and share a service project idea with them. We hope that you get to participate in spreading the Key Club spirit this week at convention and I hope that you get a chance to take a picture with Paco the Penguin. Wow, those key clubbers really do know how to have fun. They really do. I can't wait for tomorrow. This convention keeps getting better day by day. It really does. And tomorrow we kick things off with the Plant Hollywood Breakfast if it is your district's assigned day. After that, there's another round of workshops starting at 9.30. Maybe you should check out Keeping It Classy, or if you're a district leader, you should go to Lieutenant Governor Question and Answer or the District Officer Team Workshop. After the workshops, don't forget to attend the Meet the Candidate session, which is at 11.30 a.m. And if you're not a delegate, please attend. If you're looking for new service projects for your club or district to do, you should stop by the service fair tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. And tomorrow night, we get to celebrate all of our achievements at the recognition session starting at 8 o'clock, followed by entertainment for the convention, which is Justin Wilman. Sounds like a blast. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for another night of Key Club TV. See, See you then. You then.